Hello, Scrabble here back with more Salt and Sanctuary on the Nintendo Switch. And today we are continuing our journey of Naked Man with a Big Shield. Now, let's just check that uh, we didn't get anything new and exciting from either the Alchemist or the... Uh, unskinned. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, da, da, da. oh, Karstra had a great sword associated. I didn't even realize. That's pretty cool. But nope, still nothing. Apparently, Karstra has a spear too. The Witch of the Lake has a class five staff. That's cool. But no alchemist. Oh, the unskinned liver has a whip associated. It's a holy whip. That's probably pretty good. And the architect has a class 5 reaper, the salt reaver. Um. Oh, horse head's ear has a lander grave. Great knife, that's interesting. Still no upgrades for the axe. The great axe is out. The class 3 great hammer. Which does a lot of damage. The Mountain Breaker I would still like, but we still have no Pearl. We definitely don't have the 100,000 we're looking for. The 30,000... Hold on, let me, let me just double check here. I can get two levels. That might actually be the way to go. Let's do that. And I think we want Strength for both. Uh, because we are using all strength base now, right? We got class 5 Berserker, which is all strength. There you go, we're at 40 strength. Alright, let's save. I think we can make our strength go even higher. Uh, I feel like I got the number that I needed for those. Maybe I haven't activated it. I don't remember. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. We don't need to run into these guys, or we do. Ah! You... <laughs> Man, these guys suck. Uh, Antidotes... There you go. Okay. I don't care tremendously about the secrets that I've missed, to be honest. I know I've missed some, but I'm really interested in going this way and checking out... Kraken ahead. Good luck. Is that a Kraken? Does the Architect count as a Kraken? I did read about the Architect. I know I did. I did not check, though, their items. Right, we got uh, Architect's Ear, Ear of the Architect, Kyra of the Architect, Master of the Art of Salt, Alchemancy, to bend the sea and its countless lost souls to her own will. These twisted forms and heartless abominations carry out her whims in defiance of natural order. No kidding. And then we have the skin or something. The unskin's liver. Liver of the unskinned, the Architect's personal guardian is a master worker of salt, Alchemancy, showcasing Kyra's skill and the madness necessary to maintain it. All right, and then we can go on to the Crypt of the Old Gods. Crypt of the Dead Gods? I think it's Crypt of the Dead Gods, to be honest. Oh. There we go. Crypt of Dead Gods. All right, that's our location for today. We did some exploration of it last time. This time...
more exploration of it. Okay, first things first, we would like a sanctuary in the Crypt of the Day Gods. And we expect to see a Crypt Keeper over here. Well, first things first ended up being really fast. Crazy fast. I had no idea that there was a sanctuary right here. That the very first thing that I would be doing would be coming to the sanctuary. Alright. Set up a guide. Huh. Where's this go? I feel like this is probably a shortcut somewhere. Oh, stone leader. We can set that up. That's great. That'll give us an additional something. Probably an addition. What a Hagger's Cavern? This reminds me of Hagger's Cavern. But I haven't opened up a shortcut. I'll speak of the devil. Come on. There we go. Hagger's Cavern. Oh, I'm at the bottom of the boat. Okay. Man, I really think these last areas are going to touch on absolutely everything we encountered before. I definitely want to use the stone leader. We want to trade in those bola heart nerves. Not only will trading in the bola heart nerves give me an additional, probably, uh, red flask, but they also increase my devotion. In fact, I think that makes my devotion almost maximum. We didn't finish doing the work for the leprous. Oh, it's a different one. Heart seeker nerves are different from the eye things. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It does not give us any devotion then. This guy's really easy. Oh my gosh, he's really easy. And gives me about 2,000 salt? That seems crazy. I think I'm actually starting to hit some frame rate problems in this area. Whoa! Well, it was crazy. Oh! Whew. Frozen tomes! Oh, nice. He drops good things, too. He gives good everything. Alright. We're going down, 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 down. Whoa! Whoo! Well, I didn't let him wreck me that time. 9,600 is a lot. Oh, I came down. You know what? I can't get back up. Yep, I don't see anything down, though. I think... Whoa! No! Oh. Ooh. That was close. Really need that level. I'm gonna probably get a... Bell. Just because I think some additional levels would be helpful here. Um, here, I'm going to be hitting one of these nasty dudes, right? Yeah. Woo! I do not really want to fight you, though, nasty dude. Hmm. I think we have to go up. Here we go down, and we're gonna grab that diamond cluster away from you. There we go. Oh! Uh, we gotta wait for that to come back. Clearly I screwed that somehow. There we go. Now, this kind of looks like the Red Hollow Cages. 
And sounds like the red hollow cages. Ground sensor, which I don't think I need. Open up the shortcut. Oh, okay. Cool. Now I see where I am. All right. Um, make an offering. Do I have a merchant? I don't. I have a cleric. And a cleric, well, it gives me potency, like prayer potency, which I don't need. They do actually have something that I want with Blessed Page. I don't have any Blessed Pages. And I think they might come in handy for some of the bosses that are coming up. I don't have any way to deal holy damage ever since I got rid of the ways that I had to deal holy damage. Uh, let's use this case of salt, which might give me the next level. Oh, they didn't. Um, that's fine. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yikes. Woo. Uh oh. I did not want to use the Warhorn. Ah! Well, that's going to kill me, isn't it? Nope. Boop. I can't believe how close I am to a level without actually having a level. There we go. See if I can do this complicated flat forming. Ah! Crap. Okay, so he has all my salt. Stole 15,000 salt, the Gravewalker, and I'm pretty sure that when I kill him, I will have enough for a level. Please let me kill him. If I don't kill him, that's gonna look real bad. Oh my gosh. Getting hit by this guy is rough. I want him to walk away, please. Just walk away. Got him! Hey, we got enough for a level. Perfect. And you know, I got a comment that... Someone enjoys the fact that I was reading out the lore on the uh, Tree of Skill, and then I stopped doing it, so I do apologize for that. Let's check out uh, the lore on this one, which is new that I got. At last, a Night Raider overreached, giving her just enough room to maneuver. She slammed her mace, glowing with divine vengeance, down on his outstretched sword arm. He fell back in a shower of sparks, grunting with the blow, then wailing in surprise. His couter... Couter? I have no idea was crushed, his Van Brace clad forearm bent the wrong way from his elbow at a nearly right angle. The Penson Pilgrimage, S27. You know, I tend to... I, I really feel like what we're seeing there is probably the most overlooked text in the game, if I had to be honest. It's not bad, badly written. It's, I just feel like it's probably really overlooked. It's also interesting that they give me, like, shortcuts to these things so close. I do feel like these guys give so much salt just so that you can grind out levels at the end of the game if you need to. Probably the same reason they're giving me so many upgrade materials. Well, that killed me. Uh, should be easy enough to get back to. And I'll cut here. And then, uh... I'm not going to do anything, so we'll cut here, and I will see you back there. And we're back. Just got our salt back, feeling pretty good. Ooh. Alright, we're going to cut again and come right back there. Maybe we won't fall this time.
I would think that uh, I could cut until I succeed. But I really wanted to show you all the failures. Okay, and we're back. There we go. That worked a whole lot better. Huh. Well, he went down the easy that time. Ooh, Lord's Orders. Whoa! That's no good! No! Oh! Oh, that was rough. Okay, Frozen Reliquary. There's something up there. Oh, I saw something here. We do see something on the other side. Crystal Sphere. We don't need that. Huge jumps, though. Oh, interesting. This is an actual chest. More Lord's Orders. They really want us upgrading things, don't they? Huh. All of that was this way? Seems like that's all that was here. Ow. Stone Merchant. I did want one of those, but now it looks like we're coming onto a boss, doesn't it? That's always right before a boss. Ow. We'll head this way. I know that there is a Crypt Keeper the other way. Oh! Boss, and it looks like this might be a hard boss. I'm going to... Replace the Warhorn with the Blessed Page. A quaff a potion for no reason. Kraken Dragon Scores. Wow! Whoa! Totally staggered me. Man, it's like I am putting my shield up. Ah! My shield it does very little. Let me use one of these. That's probably going to kill me. Nope. That got me. Kraken Dragon Scores does not actually seem super dangerous to me. And again, I got so much stuff here that I could actually just grind out upgrades for everything. Which still seems pretty cheap, but I could do it. But I do want to go this way, too. Hey, this is where I was dying. I'm gonna fall. Like, the most I'm gonna lose here is all my salt. Which is only 6,000 salt. Huh. Uh.
Oh, come on. He doesn't want to cling to the wall there. Which strikes me as really weird. Alright, see if we can get back. I don't know if we can. Uh, I probably can if I jump up this way. Okay. There we go. Alright, we can definitely get back this way. We could totally grind out that dude if we wanted to. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Breaking Dragon Speaker Scores. Ow! We're in trouble. Really in trouble. And do one of these. Ow. That's gonna kill me, right? No. I mean, pretty close. No! No! Ow! I wasn't doing so bad there, and then I just rolled right into that thing. I do feel like grinding out levels here would be a solution, but... Feels like a really bad solution. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't fill my head with smiles to think about doing that. Just grinding stuff out. Oh, we got it. Uh-oh. We're just gonna kind of go slow and take our time this time.
No! It's okay. He's gonna jump. And again, we sit and wait. Uh-oh. Looks like that might have got greedy. But we still seem fine. Woo! Quaff again. Like I said, sit and bide my time. No! Get him! Woo wee! Oh, that was close. I felt like that was pretty close. Whew. All right, we're gonna quaff. I really kind of want to warp back to the shrine here. We got Scores' horn. I am gonna warp back, but let's check him out in the bestiary. Gotta be pretty close to the end, right? Dra Kraken Dragon Scores, a greater Kraken, Lord of Storms, keeper of the crypt of dead gods. Ever since man discovered travel by sea, sailors have feared this monster. Who wields devastating storms with ease, sending sailors and kings alike to icy graves beneath the sea. Inventory, what do we got here? Uh, here, we should see something from Scores. He sent us a horn. Horn of Kraken Dragon Scores. When a horrible calamity at sea occurs, it is nearly always the design of a greater Kraken. And no Kraken is greater than the, than the Scores, Lord of Storm and Sea. Well, if he's the Lord of Storm and Sea, does that mean we killed him? Does that mean we can finally escape? Wow. Hey, this guy again. Again, this is the first guy we saw on the island, who at one point I thought, maybe this is the last guy. It's time you knew my name. There was a time when I held many titles. Men knew me by other names as well. But titles, fame, infamy. It is worthless here. On this island, Jared is my name. Envy is such a thing. A man envies his neighbor, whose wife is very beautiful. A lord envies a king who commands nobles. A king envies a god to whom all men must bow. And a god envies... A god envies what a god cannot have. I wanted so much from life. Satisfaction eluded me. And the things I prayed for? Well, would you believe a god actually answered my prayers? These things, this life, this island, such as my reward. Fantastic power, a lifetime of servitude, and a purgatorial existence in this still place. The god of this island is the god that answered my prayers. His existence is one of insatiable lust for something a god can never have to be born of light. He preyed on the greedy, collecting on the debts of kingdoms and countries in some mad, mad hope of collecting that thing he shall never have. Alas, we are born of salt, bound by sanctuary. We are the eternally dead. This god, this demon, I want him to remain nameless. His lust for power is fueled by terror and infamy. Men at sea can fear the Kraken. But give this vile god no name. Go on. The Still Palace. I love the music here. It really just amped up. This place is truly still. There should be no enemies. Okay. Falling horn. There we go. I mean, that's not really where we go because 
There's a shrine. But it does not give us the opportunity to level up. We'll I'll go back next time and we will explore the still palace. But for now, we are going to stop. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more Salt and Sanctuary, feel free to subscribe. Plus, it helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.